Hello and welcome to our video on building an aluminum motor. Before we get to the fun stuff, let's cover some introductory material first. The Next Generation Science Standards Program, or NGSS for short, is a state-created program which was created to give students hands-on scientific learning experience in an attempt to bring America back to the scientific foreground. Shown on the bottom half of the screen is the specific science standard which we'll be covering in this video today, which involves the law of conservation of energy. One of the most important principles in all of physics and engineering, the law of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed or converted from one energy form to another. In this experiment, not only is energy converted from chemical in the battery to electrical, but the concept of induction is used to convert electrical energy into kinetic energy through a magnetic field. Induction is the creation of an electrical current from a change in magnetic field. However, this video demonstrates the reverse process, in which we'll use a generated current to induce a magnetic field. The Newman motor, invented by Joseph Newman in 1979, was a failed attempt at a perpetual motion machine, but for our purposes of exploring the conversion of energy, it's hard to find a better example. To recap, in today's experiment, you'll use the introduced concepts of induction and conservation of energy to get hands-on experience with your own Newman motor. Now, before I bore you to death with my voice, let's get to the fun stuff. Actually, I almost forgot, we can't forget safety. For example, if your instructor allows you to use power tools to make your PVC pipe motor housing, always remember, power tools are not toys. Another safety note, please always remember to use the proper equipment when cutting wire. Anything else could be dangerous or damaging. Now that your supplies are all ready to go, carefully coil your length of wire around your housing on one side of the drilled hole. This step might take a while, but it's worth it in the end. Once this step is done, the bar can then be inserted and you can carefully place the magnets on the rod. Ouch! I did say carefully. Next, you'll want to wrap one end of the coil around the rod as shown on the right, while attaching the other side of that coil to the battery. Then. Take another piece of wire and wrap it on the opposite side of the rod and then attach that to the battery as well. At this point, you should notice some movement in the bar. With some modification to the wiring and connections, you should begin to actually create full rotations. And remember, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> this is so cool! Please tell me you got that. Well, that's all we have for you today, but thank you for your time and congratulations on building your very first Newman motor. 